I asked you guys what I should speedrun in Super Mario Odyssey, except I had one request. Make it dumb. Insurance percent. Go to Metro Kingdom and hit every taxi with a scooter. <laughs> sure, okay. The core of this run is to get to Metro Kingdom and have the maximum number of people file for insurance claims that we can. So in this speedrun, we just want to get to Metro Kingdom as fast as possible. The best way to do this is a glitch only possible in two-player mode called ACRC. This basically lets us take a painting to Metro Kingdom and work Cappy to a checkpoint to get to the kingdom before we're supposed to. But that actually doesn't work for this speedrun. Metro Kingdom has two main phases, Night Metro and Day Metro. Both of these phases have their own unique taxis in them that we need to destroy. Doing a CRC to get to Metro early only gives us access to Day Metro and not Night Metro, so we actually have to play through the entire game up until Metro Kingdom if we want to finish the speedrun. While playing through the game, there's one important thing that we need to do before reaching Metro, and that's talk to this tourist here in Sand Kingdom. This is the tourist, and he has a route he travels from kingdom to kingdom. We need him to get to Metro Kingdom so we can hit his taxi with a scooter. He first appears in Sand Kingdom and only does so after we finish the story there, but once we do that, he'll appear in Metro Kingdom next. The run from here follows much like an 80% speedrun until we get to Metro and can become a public menace. All right, so we gotta go through and destroy all the cat taxis in Night Metro. And I have two options here. I can either hit him with the scooter or blow him up with the tank. Each will have to file insurance claims either way. So it works out. All right, we got all of them in the starting area. Let's get the tank because the tanks a bit will make this a bit easier. I think that's the last taxi in Night Metro. Yeah, it should be. Now we just need to get the Day Metro taxis, which one of them we need to complete the festival to actually get to spawn in, which is kind of annoying. Gosh, there's a lot of taxis. All right, um, right, let's get started, I guess. All right, got that one. Moving taxis will be the most confusing. Got that one, got that one. All right, this is the one we just got, right? Yeah. Get you. We got the two circling the, the different routes. And now we gotta hit this one. And then we gotta drive this one into the sub area. So I think it is safe to say that the taxi we just drove into the sub area is the one that we hit. Uh, now we gotta blow up the taxis in this sub area because we don't have a uh, thing to hit them with. I think that's all of them. All right, and I think it is safe to assume that this taxi right here is the taxi we are driving out of the sub area, correct? We just drove it out. So now this taxi is the taxi we drove out of the sub area instead of the one we drove into the sub area. So now I can hit it with the scooter. Genius, I know. Now there's one taxi left and it is the taxi that appears after we finish the store. Wait, we need the one blocking the sewer. You're right. All right, well, let's get that one first because if I open up the sewer before the taxi disappears, that's a problem. Gotta get the sewer taxi. Sorry about that. Got the mini taxi? You mean the one that the guy drives around? Do you think he has insurance on that? You think he has insurance on the RC car? You really think he has insurance on that? Maybe he has a protection plan. <sighs> Chat, you're really gonna make me do this. You're really gonna make me do this. <sighs> that makes me so sad. <laughs> He's just like, don't break it. Oh my gosh. There was a submission. It's not on my list of things to do today, but it was like sing-along percent or something like that. I forget exactly what it was. It was basically just get to Metro Kingdom and sing along to Pauline. And like, you you can't expect me to jump up in the air. <laughs> jump up, don't be scared. Jump up and your cares will soar away. And if there's dark clouds start to swirl, you can shut us here cause I'll be your one-up girl. And then the jump up super high. <laughs> All right, I'm, out. I'm done. That counts. That's, that's two speedruns in one. That, that counts. I know it said I had to sing along the whole time, but I'm counting it.
All right, uh, so the last taxi is now available and we can run into it, chat. So finishing the festival, that, that tourist taxi spawned in. Now we can hit it. Time, 43.53. Let's go. Cat girl percent. Find every single cat peach in Super Mario Odyssey. You also have to wear cat ears the whole time. Now, I don't really know why I would do that, but whatever, sure, sure. In Super Mario Odyssey, most kingdoms have a Cat Mario and Cat Peach pixel art hidden somewhere within it. So to complete this run, we have a fairly simple objective. Play through the game collecting moons like normal, except each kingdom we have to go out of our way to collect a Cat Peach found within it. That really shouldn't be all too hard. I started the run from a fresh file and in Cap Kingdom tried to get my first Cat Peach, but for some reason it wasn't there. As it turns out, this one only shows up once you visit the kingdom for a second time, so we'll have to get that one later. Cascade Kingdoms can be found under a rock in the back of the kingdom, which is a little out of the way, but easy to get. Sand Kingdom is found in the middle of the normal any percent round and is super easy to pick up. And that's basically all this run is. Do any percent in each kingdom, but take a short detour somewhere in the middle of the round to grab a cat girl. Cloud, Ruin, Dark, and Darker Side all don't have cat peaches, so we don't need to worry about those kingdoms. But once we beat the game, we do have to grab one last cat peach in Mushroom Kingdom, and also quickly travel back to Cap to get our last cat peach, finishing the run in just over an hour and 11 minutes. 100 IP Clips. Clip into the Inverted Pyramid 100 times as fast as you can. So apparently this is a run CJ, a good friend of mine, has done, and apparently he has done it multiple times and has a PB under 24 minutes, which... <laughs> Why? This... Who would even want to clip 100 times into the Averted Pyramid? Like, this This clip sucks, but I... Here, here we go! All right, timing starts when I jump, I guess, for the first one. All right, here we go. So I'm, I have to do this 100 times. That's one. Oh, why did why did so many people submit this? My estimation for this run, by the way, chat, was 30 minutes when I was preparing the stream today. But we're still on pace with that, because that's six. Fifteen. Sixteen. Let's go. We're on fire right now. We're averaging over three per minute. Seventeen. Another first try. Thirty. 33, 40, 50, 65. Come on, I need to hit 67 in the next 20 seconds so I can stay on sub 30 pace. There we go, 67, 69, ooh, nice. 85. 93 on 97 98 99 all right i get ready to split 100 there we go 29 26 please never ask me to do that again amogus percent get every moon in the game that has the word among in it as fast as possible Dear viewer, how many moons do you think that is? Five, 12, maybe even 20? It's four. It's only four. Hidden among the push blocks, atop a wall among the clouds, among the five cactuses, and hat and seek among the food. This doesn't actually make for a really long run. We can get among the five cactuses on our first visit to Sand Kingdom, and we can get hidden among the push blocks simply by revisiting Cap Kingdom. The last two can be gotten early in post game. Atop a wall among the clouds is a moon rock moon that can be found in this moon pipe in Cascade Kingdom, and Hat and Seek among the food can be found after beating the story in Luncheon Kingdom in post game. Pretty simple run, basically just any percent with some extra steps. Rock, paper, scissors percent. Start from a new file, and each time Mario collects a moon, you will play him in a game of rock, paper, scissors. The run ends when you successfully win five times against him. If he beats you to five, you have to start over. Okay, that is actually really funny, and I really like this idea. So if you didn't know, Mario plays one of three unique animations when collecting a moon. One looks like a rock, one like scissors, and the final one looks like paper. So we can actually do what this is requesting and play Mario in a game of rock, paper, scissors. The funny thing about this run in particular, 
since this is like the only idea that I could take multiple attempts on, I could potentially be here for a while. Mario beating me two times in a row or even three times in a row isn't very statistically unlikely. Like him beating me once is a 50% chance. Him beating me twice is only like a 25% chance. And him beating me three times in a row is only a 12.5% chance. Let's see how this goes, because now we're going to start getting moons that we have to play rock, paper, scissors on. Instead of like doing it with my hand, like I'm not going to be like, oh, rock, paper, scissors or whatever. I'm going to I'm going to vocalize it before I grab the moon. Rock. All right, that's one for me. One for me. You'll love to see it. Scissors. All right, that's a tie. Still one and oh. Scissors. All right, <laughs> two and two and oh. <laughs> Two wins, zero losses. Oh my gosh. This is a good run. All right, rock. All right, we're tied. Still 2-0. Oh. We just need to win three more times. And that it's all ours. Are you leaving Cascade? Do you think I'm going to get it in three more moons? There's so many more fast moons in sand than Cascade. Scissors. All right, uh, Mario has one. Two to one. You know, rock again. So I go paper. <laughs> it's two to two, just like that. All right, uh, scissors. <laughs> two to three, Mario's winning. Okay, 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 okay. We can still win this. Two to three, two to three, it's fine. Should have stayed in Cascade. There's like not enough moons in Cascade. Scissors. All right, that's a tie. Stop being superstitious. Scissors. I can't see. That doesn't count. <laughs> Whatever it was, we'll never know. All right, rock. 2-4. Rock. Alright. 3-4. What do I want to go next? I, I can't go rock again. I think I have to go scissors. I think I have to go scissors. Scissors. Alright, Mario wins. Uh, we have to reset. Rock. Uh, oh and one Rock. 1-1. One to one. Rock. Two to one, rock. Two to two, rock. Two to three. I think he might be catching on. That's how we're gonna psych him out, chat. He's gonna think we're gonna switch. And then he's gonna go, he's gonna go scissors. Come back here, bird, what the heck? Come back here. Rock. Three to three, I like that, I like that, rock. Three to four. Okay. Okay. Rock. <laughs> Come on, man. Mario was proving to be a much more formidable opponent than I expected. But I was going to let it end here, damn it. I was going to show him, show them all, what a Mario Odyssey speedrunner was capable of. Paper. Gosh, dang it. That's 0 and 1. Scissors. 0 and 2. Paper. Uh, paper. Paper. 0 and 3. Hey, you guys remember the last one. You remember the last one, what happened. It's still anybody's game. Uh, paper. All right, 2 to 3. Uh, scissors. 3 to 3. Then like that, we've tied it up. Paper. All right, 3 to 4. Match point for Mario. Honestly, paper. <sighs> rock. Oh, and two to Mario. Uh, rock. Oh, and three to Mario. Not gonna go paper again, so we're going rock. I can't tell what that is. Uh, I think it was paper. We're, we're reviewing the clip. We're reviewing the clip. How about we don't count it? I'm not about to win on a technicality. That pretty clearly looks like paper. And that's only like a very, very short moment after it. But we got to test something. We can't, we can't just blindly go off of this information. Ooh, Mario jumps with an open fist. That is a very, excuse my language, uh, but damning piece of evidence. I think, I think that's all we needed to see chat. It was paper, one and four. I have to count and I'm not winning it on technicality. We're gonna win this like a man. Scissors, he's gonna go paper again. Okay. 
I swear this is completely random. All right, he's not gonna go rock again. Scissors, 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 scissors. Three, four, scissors. <laughs> Come on, Mario, you went rock four times in a row. What are you doing? All right, he, uh, scissors. Screw you, Mario. That's like your sixth rock in a row. I'm gonna catch him off, chat. I'm gonna catch him off. Scissors. All right, 0 oh and 2. Scissors. We got it, finally. <laughs> one and two. Oh, I didn't say anything. That one doesn't count. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Rock. Two, three. Dude, how is he so good at this? I don't think I have gotten to four once. I don't think I've ever been at match point in all like seven of our matches. Paper. Okay, three, three. Scissors, 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 scissors. Four, three, we're at match point. I gotta think through this one. Scissors. Four, four. It's tied up. Next win wins. All right, he just went rock. Mario is a big rock and paper fan, which is really hard, but I feel like that means the safe play here is paper. So I'm gonna go paper. <laughs> Mario is a being of chaos, you can't rationalize it. Yes, but even if I rationalize it, and he's a being of chaos. Statistically, I should have won by now. Paper. I won one. Hog. Paper. One, one. We're due. Rock is due. Paper. One, two. Paper. 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 Two, two. Paper. Three, two. You'll love to see it. I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go scissors. Yeah. No rock. Rock. Oh, we saved that one. Oh my gosh. Mario almost got us there. Still free too. All right. Now that we baited the rock, we go scissors. Scissors. Four, two. And then we ended off with a rock. Rock. Okay, he got us. Uh, well, he didn't get us. We tied. So it's still four, two. Still four, two. Um, gotta think, gotta think, gotta think. I think we go scissors. I think we go scissors. I think, I think scissors is what we need here. Scissors. 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 There it is. We won. It only took eight matches of rock, paper, scissors, but we finally beat Mario. Oh my gosh. This is like the most impressive thing I've ever done in stream. Like, honestly, I don't think I've ever done anything that impressive. I think we're going to do one more of your submitted speed run today. We're going to do one more. And that speed run is called any percent. What I received in the description from the viewer was here. Let me let me get their exact quote. I think I have it. You can pick any percent of the game to complete. Don't have to beat the final boss if you don't want to. That's what they sent me. So uh, let's get started. Uh, how much of the game do I want to beat? Any percent of the game that I want to. Well. We got Cappy, I think that's enough. 51 seconds, not bad.